Yeah, so uh, we also, uh, before the podcast, we kind of wanted to talk about, like, poetry a little bit, because, like, we were talking, like, we were, we were doing homework, and we were talking about just, like, writing, and how, uh, like, we both like writing, and how, like, we both do a little bit of poetry, and so uh, Hector wanted to talk about his poetry for a little bit, yeah. This is, like, uh, in the clay cost, um, selfish plug, I'm just kidding, I'm not trying to plug it up, but, um, yeah. Like, we were just talking about poetry, and, and poetry has been something um, in the past year, especially during quarantine, where I, I just fell in love with and And it sounds cliche, and, and I understand that, but I don't really care. Poetry has gave me an option to express myself when I'm feeling happy, when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling all types of emotions. And so hopefully I can uh, keep on doing that. And if, I, if poetry doesn't do it anymore for me, if it doesn't give me happiness, then I'll stop doing it. But right now it's giving me happiness. And so like, do you feel the same way as you do with poetry? Or yeah, I like, whenever I'm like feeling like really upset, like, or poetry or just like writing in general, like it's such an amazing like thing to do. Like getting rid of like all that emotion and just like being able to write, like write to yourself, just like when you write it out on paper, like it kind of hits different too. Cause like you're kind of seeing how you're feeling in a way. And like, I've written stuff about like my past relationships, like stuff with girls, like mostly stuff with girls. But like, like if I'm writing poetry or something like that, like I like, if it comes out really good, I feel it's really cool that I get to express all my emotion into that. And it's just when it comes out really well and other people can enjoy like my poetry, it makes me, it makes me feel amazing. And like, yeah, I'm able to just share all that emotion onto paper and no, I, I, I totally get that. Um, with poetry for me, I've been, it, it I'm trying to progress, you know, if I want to, I, and another cliche, if I want to do something, I want to get better at it. I want to give it my 100%. And with poetry, I began, like, really, I was just terrible at it. Um, I would just, basically, when I would start, I would write, the, I would be repeating and repeating and repeating the same words over and over again. And so, what poetry has given me is given me another outlook to improve, to, to uh, improve something better in my life. And so now I read more books now and I'm learning my lexicons improving and stuff like that. So on the topic with poetry, on the topic with relationships, I mean, I've never been in a relationship, so I really can't talk about it, but I've, I've been infatuated with girls. I've, you know, I've had crushes. And so some poetry and some poems that I've written have been about a specific girl or specific girls. And, um, but poetry, it, my poetry is not all about that. It's more about, you know, you know, mental, like my problems with mental health or my problem or problems with eating disorders or problem with um, all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be naturally about love and it doesn't have to be sad. It certainly doesn't have to be sad because I, I try to uplift people. I'm, I'm not sure if other people want to do that, but I want to uplift myself and poems and any song should be uplifting. Yeah, I mean, something that I've done for my mental health is journaling. Like journaling, like it may seem like a like a really hard task to do. It may seem like like extra homework, but it really is super beneficial. Like I have this like silver uh, journal, sort of, but it's uh, I got it from like this company called We Are Not Really Strangers. So every single day I I open up a card, and it's like it asks me like a really deep question about myself. It's like the self reflection journal, and so. Like I read that question in every day, like I, I read it and then like I, I answer it in my notebook and it, like, it's super calming, like especially cause like I, I have something to write about even though like it may not be relevant. It's something that like you can ask yourself and it's something again you could put towards and it's something really good for your mental health just to write down your emotions and just like let all your feelings out. For sure. Um, just to echo what you were saying, like you know, we're, we're young, we're young guys, you know, Blake's 17, I'm 18, and, and we don't really know about ourselves, maybe we know our names, what we look like, what we like to eat, but in reality, we're, we're more profound than that, we're, we're deep human beings, and we need to understand ourselves better, so each day, poem, poems have helped, you know, when I'm, you know, sometimes I write down stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, what am I writing down, dude, people will just, dis will be disgusted at that, but in reality, you, you can't self-reject, and you gotta realize that, these stuff that I'm talking about, the questions that I'm t asking myself, the questions that th those deep reflecting, um, yeah, yeah, those questions are natural. All these weird things that we think about in our heads are natural, and you shouldn't self-reject it. So, and if 
I haven't given out my poems and I haven't shared it to many people besides a couple of close friends. Um, but when I do, you know, I have to make sure that I'm, you know, open to criticism. I'm open to positivity or negativity because that will come and stuff. But I, I really, I really like the fact that we're asking questions and we're trying to learn more self, more about ourselves, which is really important because I know nothing about myself. I only know a tiny little bit. I have so yeah. much more improved. I'm, I think I'm a little different from you there. I feel like I know myself pretty well. Like, I feel like I can understand where my faults are and like, I just have to work on it. But where I have problems on is like working on the things I have problems with in my, that I see in myself. But also like what you were saying, like about like giving other people your poetry. Like, I, I know that feeling of like letting other people read what you wrote that like you wrote in private, thinking maybe someone else won't read this. It's something like you like you're giving up your vulnerability and like giving up your writing is something that you can really pour your heart into. And just when you do that, it's it's kind of relieving, like letting someone else know how you feel is relieving. And like if anybody who's listening to the podcast, if you like if any of you guys have mental health issues, like the best thing is to do is really talk about it. You cannot get better unless you talk about it. And you no one is going to fix you. The only person that's going to fix you is yourself and like the first first thing of doing something is like admitting how you're feeling and just like telling someone else and I think that's a really good step I mean me and Hector we've had a lot of talks about mental health before and it really really does help when you get to reach out to someone and tell them how you're feeling and even though it may be good or bad what someone is saying you may not like it it's really good to talk no oh, yeah dude it's your what you're saying is totally true um, because you know, human human nature is to be like, I feel like a lot of people are very judgmental and they come with things very narrow minded. And so when you talk about mental health, when you talk about your problems, you know, whether they're extremely bad or extremely or uh, okay. Uh, we're cutting back real fast. We kind of had a little bit of technical difficulties. I hope it recorded. I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep on going on. Back to Hector's point. Yeah, I said a, sh a really shitty joke. I said at the end of the day, we all go to sleep. Which is, I. Well, it's not shitty. I think it's a pretty funny joke. But um, what I was saying, what Blake was saying, at the end of the, we have to be less judgmental and more open-minded, especially when it comes to mental health. And so any way which helps you, writing, talking it out, um, do it. And don't be afraid to do it. And don't care what other people think about, you know, the stigmas about mental health so and and what we're saying is cliche and it's so many people say it and repeat it but it's true and it's and what Blake was saying earlier if you don't believe in yourself who else is gonna believe for you you know you have to have that self-belief first and then others will believe in you